good morning class this is ishita ma'am and i am again back with your english tutorials the teaching learning modules that would be helpful for you here i guess you are all doing well at home during this period of quarantine and completing all your work and using the time in a productive way so class uh, i guess you all love reading books yes and then uh, it's even more good when it is uh, a book of comedy a humorous piece of writing so this need or this urge of reading humorous books or story books has been developed finely by the author of today's text so today i'll be doing the chapter packing from your beehive book and before that i guess by now you have all received the short answer type questions the reference to context worksheets from the chapter uh, the shehnai of bismillah khan and the evelyn glini from sound of music okay so uh, from the chapter the shehnai of bismillah khan there is no such long question which is much important from that chapter so i have given you the reference to context and the short answer type questions with that okay and there when the school reopens and we will be revising with that we will be discussing the other possible questions of that chapter as well so coming back to today's lesson today's lesson i told you is packing from your beehive book which is chapter 7 of your uh, beehive book so here uh, this chapter packing has been extracted a famous piece okay from the famous novel three men in a boat okay i guess you have all seen the videos or the video which i have provided for the story writing uh, module so there also i have told you what a novel is so this three men in a boat is written by Uh, Jerome K. Jerome or Jerome Klapka Jerome rather. K is for Klapka here. Okay, so packing by Jerome K. Jerome. So how an author was he, or what kind of a writing uh, was he preferred to? So let us just have a look on that. Jerome Klapka Jerome, born second May eighteen fifty nine. at stratfordshire england and died 14th june 1927 at northamptonshire okay so you it's very clear that he was there from the mid of 19th century to the first half of this uh, 20th century okay so he you know jerome k jerome rather his genre of writing was of humor okay uh humor is what humor is the basic essence of laughter that you get in his piece of writings but it's not that somebody will be tickling you to laugh no his writings were not so rather the writings were as if a uh, very small petty issues or petty things that we go across in our whole life or rather the small incidents that could be very funny in our day to day life or how would be life like when it is uh, arranged by three idiotic people or three you know dull headed people what kind of humorous incident can they all create so this is what the theme that jerome k jerome used to deal with he was an english novelist and playwright whose humor warm and unsatirical and unintellectual won him wide following okay so of course an english novelist and a playwright the writer of plays or dramas though he has not written a numerous numbers of uh, writings of novels or dramas for the english literature rather but he has given such masterpieces that Uh, is still as fresh even when we talk about the pieces of english writings even in the 21st century as well 
So, uh, whose humor warm and unsatirical and unintellectual, very petty issue. You find no reasoning there. There's no intellectual effect there. But still, you will love reading his piece of writing. Okay, so this is what Jerome K. Jerome uh, used to write on. Now, uh, here, the best piece that he has given, okay, from where our today's piece is extracted is his best known comic travelogue. You know what travelogue is, okay, is just when you are traveling and you're narrating the incidents also. Okay, you are traveling on a situation or you're traveling on a particular way out and then the incident that happens or that takes place, everything will be portrayed or narrated by somebody who is there in the part of the travel itself. Okay, the travel stories. So, his comic travelogue, whose full name is Three Men in a Boat to Say Nothing of the Dog. Okay, and it came out in the year 1889. Okay, it has got a, a kind of subtitle that says that to say nothing of the dog and in the year, it came out in the year 1889. Now, who are these three men in a boat? The three men is, of course, the narrator himself, who is Jim or regarded as Jay in the text. And then we have George and then we have Harris. Okay, these are the three men. And then to say nothing of the dog. So you know that there is of course a dog in the chapter and who, who is none other than the hero of course, the Montmorency. The hero's name or the dog's name is Montmorency. So the three men, uh, Jay, George and Harris and you have Montmorency with them. And this novel came out in the year 1889. Now with this, you must know the background of the novel. It's very uh, funny and a very silly thing a very common incident that might inspire many of us to write a travelogue like him, if you can. Because after the story writing module, you all are aware of how to write stories and all. So during this quarantine, of course, you can have a try with it. So the background. Uh, Jerome K. Jerome with his wife, Georgina Elizabeth Henrietta Stanley Morris, okay, a big name, who is better known as Etty, uh, he spent some time on the Thames in a little boat okay so he and his wife went for a ride rather and spent some of the days on the river thames and uh, in a little boat so that was the uh, voyage which they undertook and a fact and this was the fact that was to have a significant influence on his next and most important work three men in a boat okay so this was the incident Okay, the ride in the little boat on the river Thames inspired him to write this great novel, Three Men in a Boat. After coming back, he started penning down the, this uh, for this novel. And in this novel, his wife was replaced by his longtime friends, George Wingrave, who is George, and Carl Henschel, who is Harris. Okay, so in reality, he has got two friends. Okay, one is George Wingrave and another is Carl Hanschel. And then after returning back, okay, it was his wife with whom he had gone there. So after coming back out there, he just replaced his wife. He kept himself there in the novel, portraying the same incident. Along with that, he has got uh, two characters who are none other than two of his friends. So George Wingrave became George in the novel Three Men in a Boat and Carl Henschel became Harris in the novel. Okay. Now, some facts about this novel. Now, when we talk about this novel, these three idiotic people, okay, they are regarded as idiots only because they are so very uh, lazy, so very restless, so very impatient. And of course, they do not admit the fact that they uh, are having some problems somewhere. Okay, so they continue with that foolishness and that would even create a chaos and a humoric situation in the novel or humorous situation in the novel. Okay, now these characters, these all allowed him to, allow Jerome rather, to create a comic and non-sentimental situations which were nonetheless uh, intertwined with the history of the Thames region. 
okay so somehow the things that these people has uh, these people all they have all done and they were all intertwined with the history of the Thames region. Uh, earlier, two years back, we had got this novel for class 9, Three Men in a Boat. The whole novel was there as the supplementary reader before the syllabus was changed, be before uh, it was the it was the Beehive and um, Your Moments book. Before that, this Three Men in a Boat was there, of which we have only packing a piece, prose piece this time. So, some facts about this novel is, see, the book became an instant success and has never been out of print. Till date, the book novel is so very popular that it has com continued uh, never being out of print. It contributed significantly to the Thames becoming a tourist attraction. A place which is referred so much in the novel became a spot and a plot for the tourists to get attracted. The book for its immense popularity has been adapted to film, stage plays and radio shows. The story was so popular that it has completely or rather uh, it has never been out of people's attention. Okay, it got a lot of popularity and it has been adapted to films also, stage plays also and radio shows also. The book's writing style influenced many humorists and satirists in England and elsewhere. So his writing style, the writing style in the novel is something that has gathered the attention of many of the novelists and writers even in England and elsewhere. So people started copying the way uh, Jerome K. Jerome has written. If you read it, you find the language not to be very difficult to understand, but simply you will feel that a person sitting beside you is narrating a story, a funny incident or the funny experiences which he had gathered when he was out uh, for a voyage with his friends, three men in a boat. So the language or you can relate with that, that is all very common. But that would create a sense of humor, a sense of fun, a, sen a comic sense so that you enjoy reading the text also okay so the style through which jerome k jerome has written has been a completely uh, enjoyable one now with this let me tell you the chapter packing when you talk about uh, it has been a part of the novel three men in a boat and one of the famous incidents that took place in the novel so what happens in the packing so i'll give you an idea uh, that it is just the day when they were about to set for the voyage uh, right there on the river Thames. So they need, they need to do a lot of packing there. So they were just doing the packing. And how humorous the packing was. How comic or rather how a sense of comedy is created in the chapter. Everything we'll get to know once we start. Even the small petty things, how you will keep the bag, how you will keep the luggage there. Packing, you, you think of packing, it's just a very trivial thing. Oh, we can anytime do it. Yes, but how an author can create a sense of laughter, immense laughter rather, out of that. Because when things do not work in proper way in proper order of course a comedy is created and this is what is highlighted by jiram ke jiram okay now with this i'll also inform you that after three men in a boat there was a sequel that was written okay and that was three men on the bummel and it was uh, there three men on the bummel it was just a sequel to three men in a boat and it was, uh, it has reintroduced the same characters. Okay, but the setting was different. The setting was uh, in a foreign bicycle too. Now, when they are in a boat, but for three men on a bummel, it was a foreign bicycle tour through which they enjoy. And another one or another character I must highlight here is of Uncle Podger. Uncle Podger is also someone who is quite well known among us, especially among you all, the children out there, because he has the habit of forgetting things out. Uncle Podger. And there's so many incidents and so many stories uh, on that very person. Okay. So Uncle Podger, of course, is another creation of Jerome K. Jerome. 
Okay, class. So now we'll be moving on with the explanation of the text packing.